we're going to show you guys how to set up the Aeronox uh, with conventional and high frequency. There's two regulators you'll need. This one right here will already be hooked up um, to your INO tank, and this is your backup regulator. This is our nitric delivery regulator that will always be on our regulator. This is what the kit looks like. It has a list of all the stuff that's in there. Package and open. So if you need to have a patient on nitric, you just grab this bag, whether it's high frequency or conventional. Everything you'll have will be in this bag. Um, inside your bag, if you open up, you're going to have your kit right here. four kits. We're going to put them inside the rig on the top compartment where all the circuits are. We're setting up a kit with everything you need. Here's the list. You're going to have one sample line, one delivery line, one gas sample T for the cross vent, one elbow for the cross vent, a three-way stopcock, and a T connection extension point. That's for us to bag. And a flow inflating bag and an Aeronox bagger. So the first thing you need is your sampling line. Take your sampling line and you're going to plug it in. Okay, next is our delivery line. Okay, you're going to take your delivery line. It's, um, what is it? Female to female? female, to female. That's the difference. We're going to show you our high frequency setup first after you've connected the Bronchotron circuit. Inside your Bronchotron circuit, you'll notice this kit. This is your accessory kit for nitric. It's a different head. I'll have these two red lines. And the, different head. the difference is these two things here compared to only having one on the regular Bronchotron circuit. Now, one, you're going to hook up one of those red lines. And that's where you're gonna sample your night check. This other um, line right here, you're gonna um, put the red line, the regular red line, that's gonna be your pressure manometer. Okay, so once you've located those two red lines, go ahead and connect them. So after you put the dual head on, this is the pressure manometer, which you normally have on the Bronchotron circuit, um, but now you're going to be able to sample nitric on this line, and you're going to take the cap off from here, and you're going to hook up your that second red line, and this is actually where you're going to be delivering nitric. After taking those caps off, just make sure to save those caps. Okay, next we're going to connect um, the sample line to the top part. going to take your delivery and then connect it. Now you're set up. Now we're going to show you guys how to bag with the Aerox. You'll need these two pieces. Grab them from the nursing cart. You're going to grab your T connection and you're gonna hook it up to the, deliver, the uh, delivery outlet. Okay. Now we're gonna hook up the stop, stop cup. There's two different Ambu bags that you'll need. Uh, one is the Aeronox bagger, and then there's the Ino Stat bagger. There's two. There's just one main difference. Um, this one, the Aeronox bagger, has this hookup, 
And then the Ino Stat Dagger does this hookup right here. And that one you attach to a regulator. That'll go right there. That'll go right there. So this is your Aeronox Bagger. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to hook up to your flow meter. The other side, say the Aeronox delivery line, where, where the T is. So currently, nitric oxide is being delivered to the patient. If we want to bag, we have our Aeronox bagger right here hooked up. You'll have to switch so that way it's off to the patient and I know will be delivered in this line right here. So we've got our Broncotron on, now we're gonna fire up the nitric. We're gonna turn on. And we're gonna adjust this dial to achieve the parts per million we want. So if you have to bag set this at 10 liters per minute, then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to your sampling T right here, or your delivery T, and then you're gonna turn off the patient so that way the nitric is going to your under bag. So you disconnect your sampling line, the white uh, part, and you're gonna hook it up to your bag here. So just remember to switch off to the patient, onto the bagger. So now your um, nitric is being delivered right here, going up through into the bagger. And now you are also sampling right here before the patient. And now you're just gonna dial in how many parts per million you wanna bag the patient at. switch things up we're using the Aeronox bagger the problem with it is that there's no manometer so we're gonna go ahead and disconnect and use our regular flow inflating bag and you can still deliver and measure the same way So the question is, what happens if this fails? What if there's a power failure? How are you gonna deliver nitric to the patient while you're bagging? And that's where the other bagger comes in to play. And now you're gonna need a regulator. And we hooked up this piece. This is your backup regulator. It will deliver 250 ml of nitric. You'll need to set up your flow for your flow inflating bag at 10 liters per minute. That way you can deliver 20 parts per million. One thing you do need to check are these tips here. See this one is off. If you were to connect that, it would leak. We're gonna shut off the nitric. and then switch to your backup regulator. And turn it on. Your INO stat bagger, and you're gonna plug in to the regulator right here. And then you're gonna plug in your oxygen line 
set it to 10 liters per minute. And remember, uh, 10 liters per minute and 250 ml of nitric will equal 20 parts per million. So we're gonna actually modify this a little bit. The reason being is because that process was way too difficult. If you're having to bag your patient, you wanna bag your patient immediately. To go ahead and change the regulator and get the different Ambu bag ready, um, at best will take you over a minute. And you'll have to actually turn the nitric oxide off and switch the regulator, so, which could be dangerous. This is the flow, first flow inflating bag that we uh, had set up and we're going to show you guys how to use this with the regulator. Go ahead and disconnect the regulator. And go ahead and connect our backup regulator. up this jet ventilator adapter to the regulator. Next you're going to disconnect your delivery line. Then you're going to hook up to your regulator. Remember set it to 10 meters. You're guiding at 20 parts per minute. With the delivery line, that delivery line is going here. You're running your flow meter at 10 liters per minute, and you're going here. You're not going to be able to measure this because your Aeronox is down. Now we're going to show you the crossfit setup. This is our crossfit setup already. Uh, heated wire without nitric. Just for this video, we're going to keep the circuit outside so that way we can see the setup, but we normally keep it inside my setup. You're going to need two pieces. You're going to need this T, and then you'll need this uh, the high frequency L-pump. Take that T, you're gonna hook up your delivery line and you're gonna hook it up on the dry side of your heater. You're gonna take this L ball and you're gonna hook it up to where the tempro is supposed to be. Your sample line and hook it up to the L ball. That's it. And you're gonna turn on the Baranox. Make sure this is open to the patient. And you're gonna dial in however many parts per million. So now you have I know going to the convention. And one thing you'll have to note is that if you do make adjustments to your ventilator, Let's say if you go up on the flow, um, it will change the amount of nitric you're delivering to the patient. So just make sure to go back and check. Regulator will be on the top compartment of your transport bag. There's some toys in this bag, so if you guys want to take them out and play with them and set them up, more than welcome to. It's in this room.